Hi guys, uh, this is a quick video of me upgrading my Intel Dual Core based 5 year old Asus laptop. Uh, just a point of, point of note, uh, I have done this upgrade based on my basic knowledge and understanding of electronics. If you do wish to do so, please do it at your own risk. Uh, going back to the video, it's a 5 year old laptop and it's off late I've, I've seen that it was taking a lot more time to boot up and also loading app basic applications like browsers like chrome or maybe browsing some photos on the hard disk drive was taking a hell lot of time it was never that fast even when i bought it new but uh, nonetheless of late i saw the performance was going literally down the drain so Instead of buying a new laptop, I went ahead and did some research and found videos on YouTube in which it was uh, shown that the RAM of this laptop was indeed upgradable and I wasn't aware of it. I thought the RAM was soldered onto the motherboard but that was not the case and also uh, the hard disk drive could be upgraded to an SSD so I went ahead and bought the RAM and the SSD from eBay and uh, all of them did not come at once so I got the RAM first and that's the reason why I've uh, sort of uh, done this video in a staged manner so the first in the first uh, uh, screen you or rather the first sequence of videos you would find me upgrading the RAM now as you can see in the timer on the left hand side of the screen it's still booting up it's uh, it would take around uh, <coughs> I'm sorry for my voice uh, it would take around three minutes to boot up and uh, further uh, if you, if we were to log in to the home screen it we would find that uh, loading the app tray and all would take some more time as well so I'm just refreshing the screen and as you can see at 315 it stopped uh, over here you can see the core dual core based processor it's quite an old and a slow processor and a 2 GB of RAM uh, so the most logical thing was to go about upgrading the RAM over here I'm just trying to showcase as to how long it takes for Chrome to load and it is not uh, constant as in it it may vary depending on the background processes that are running but in this case it took around 13 seconds 13 odd seconds or oh, 14 rather I'm sorry so let's go ahead and quickly get the toolbox to rip the laptop apart it is, I'm doing it in the most uh, crudest of manners if you check professional websites you will see that they've got anti-static devices and all but in this case I just went ahead and ripped the laptop apart make sure that you if you were to do it remove the battery first and then separate the components as I'm showcasing over here again you would be doing it at your own risk needless to say just ensure that the screws and all are arranged in a proper manner so that they that you so that you don't lose them here I am going ahead and removing the hard drive or rather the motherboard and here we see the RAM in all, in all its glory so on the left hand side we've got the 2 GB RAM and the new 4 GB Kingston RAM that I bought from eBay is uh, is the one that I've now inserted and I've uh, I'm now placing the battery which is uh, again to my surprise is not uh, uh, stuck to the laptop it is removable albeit, it, albeit rather uh, it's not easy to remove the, uh, the, the components as in uh, some other uh, or laptops like Dell maybe where they've got separate component trays for easy upgrade as you can see I'm just trying to there are three connectors which are which connect the keyboard with the motherboard so you got to be very careful while dealing with those 
so without uh, screwing uh, or other replacing all the screws I just went ahead and uh, sort of uh, uh, doing a comparison over here with just the RAM upgraded so instead of 2 GB RAM we've got 4 GB let's see how long it takes to boot up it took 3 minutes earlier the only variable is uh, I'm tr I enter my keyboard uh, my username and password so that is the only variable but nonetheless approximately for all the system trays and everything to boot up it took uh, let's wait for the clock to stop uh, 1 minute 7 seconds so that's quite an improvement from the earlier 3 minutes so in grey I'm here uh, just showing you that the RAM indeed has been upgraded to I've received the uh, 2.5 inch uh, SSD drive 240GB SSD drive from that I bought from eBay yesterday along with this uh, 3.0 USB 3.0 to SATA cable this would help me in uh, cloning the existing uh, operating system and other files basically the entire drive from the existing hard drive to this uh, uh, SATA SSD drive so I don't have to you know go about installing all the installing the OS and the other applications that go along with it again so this is a this is by using a, this would be done rather by using a utility called as mini tools mini tool partition wizard uh, there are ample number of videos uh, to demonstrate as to how it is done so let me go ahead and quickly do it and all I'll the come information back. has now been copied over into the new SSD using the utility and I've opened the laptop cover again will be replacing the HDD that you see over here with the ADATA SSD and the battery is back in as well you need to be careful with the battery while removing all the components I'll be using this HDD later and uh, the here goes the cover again and we will see how quickly it boots up now it took uh, a minute 7 seconds with the 4 GB RAM added let's see how it long it would take rather for it to boot up and the app drawer icons to come up as well one minutes two seconds that's a gain of five seconds that's great now the caddy has come up and I would be uh, adding or other uh, using the old HDD drive use uh, inserting this caddy into the laptop and as you can see the new on the my computer screen the old HDD drive is still visible so that was a part of the mod and a final step would be to check how long chrome takes to load and you'd be surprised with the results. Thank you guys.